Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Um, I said I wasn't going to do these review. You guys, listen to what I'm going to tell you, okay? Listen. When it's fullback and defender reviews, I thoroughly don't enjoy doing them unless I'm doing regular FIFA, okay? So that's why this is a really, really late upload, because... I have a bunch of reviews that I'm going to be putting out, right? I have like a Zebu, Maldini, all these different guys. So it's easier for me to review these types of cards. If I don't have that, okay, it's really boring to review these guys, okay? Just, I got to point that out, okay? It's really boring. That's why when I first saw the showdown cards, I'm like, oh, why are you doing this to me? But I've been do doing reviews for other cards and I play them in certain positions. So, you know, uh, guys, with Munier's card, uh, we're taking a look at a card who is a three-star skill move player, four-star weak-footed, right-footed. Um, he's six foot three, high average body type, high medium work rates. A couple, a couple of interesting things, right? Guys, with this card in game, he's going to be a lengthy player on an anchor chemistry style. So here's the thing about him, right? A lot of people are wondering whether or not this card is actually really, really worth getting and whether or not it's going to be good to give him an anchor and potentially use him in the midfield setup, right? So we're going to be trying out both the right back position and the midfield position to see what the card is going to be like because he even has that right mid position switch, which is actually a very, very big deal to be able to play him in that midfield setup if you want to, right? Because a lot of the times, guys, you will usually have one guy who is the proper CDM or the proper center mid, and you have the other center mid, but then you don't have that extra position to put another center mid in it, right? Right mid position change allows you to do that. Maybe even if you start off with a five back, you could do that too, right? So a couple of things there, right? On a lengthy, he has 99 sprint speed, which definitely looks very nice. Anchor chemistry style, I mean, the anchor part of the card could be a little bit of a letdown from time to time in certain situations, but we're going to see, right? Uh, shooting on the card going to be in a pretty decent area if he does get himself into a goal scoring opportunity he could potentially score passing also in a good area with the four star weak foot w there agility and balance is on the lower side right so it's a card that has low agility and balance but four star weak foot six foot three high high and average body type that would be perfectly fine to use in the midfield setup if he actually defends really nicely on an anchor he's going to have really good defense really good physical capabilities and he's going to be on a lengthy right so like I said, in the right back position, people are probably going to want a little bit better players. This is definitely a card that you would have to keep on stay back while attacking as much as possible, right? But in that midfield setup, there's a lot of potential to work with there at 37k for a card that has the potential of getting five star, five star capabilities. This review has been in the making since like three o'clock, guys. It's 10 o'clock now. But again, it's really boring to do full back reviews unless I'm doing other reviews. So because I did all those other reviews, I could do this card too. Okay. So. In game, we'll be trying him out in both positions, right? So we have the super old 433. That 433, it's really fun to use, but it's not meta, so you'll get dusted in the top divisions, right? Especially if you don't have a full meta team. But it's a really good formation to use to try out cards. So that's what we're gonna be doing there. Uh, we're gonna be using Munier in the left center mid area as well as the right back position, just to kind of test him out in all of those uh, general areas, attacking, defending, all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll see what he's like, man. Hopefully he is a beast. So we got a situation here where we're just defending normally. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Thomas Munier is on the overlap instruction. Covers the area well enough and gets possession of the ball. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of a manual defending here. We start to use Wayne Rooney into the midfield positions. Thomas Munier is still tracked back all the way. He tries to go for a forced pass here, and he does end up getting the ball back. So this is a situation here where we do lose possession of the ball. We start to force out Guendouzi a tiny bit. I force out Thomas Munier to try to block out that general area. Uh, which we should have been rewarded with, but Wayne Rooney gives him back the ball from a weird random deflection. Um, goalkeeper gets the ball there. He has the heights to be able to kind of like just stretch out a little bit, get it with his weak foot, and we've transitioned forward with the attack. So this here is going to be the overlap instruction for uh, Thomas Munier. So you can see that once I get the ball off to Jairzinho, I do a first time pass. He's working on that overlap instruction. Uh, definitely has more of a physical feel to his car when it comes to the uh, defensive capabilities, but that's perfectly fine because that's the type of player uh, that he is going to be in your team. So we have a defensive uh, play here. He gets the ball back here with Virgil van Dijk. Uh, we start using the center back to overcommit into that spot, but you'll see in this situation, Thomas Munier being the guy that actually tracks back um, pretty quickly, right? So he's the number nine guy. We commit the center back a little bit, Thomas Munier with the stretch in that area. And then we just get a random disconnect. Don't know what happened there. Let's go, Thomas. All 
Oh, I try to use his height there. Doesn't get to it. And Kapia gets the ball afterwards. That was a crazy shot. Oh, I try to get a manual challenge there. Oh, it doesn't get the reach. Oh, Thomas. Let's go, Thomas. Oh, Thomas. Oh, block that. He's going to get the deflection. Munir gets it afterwards. Nice. Oh, Thomas. Oh, Munir just messed me up. But he gets the ball back. Redeems himself. Nice, good reach. Yeah, so even on a lengthy, I have to let go of him for him to, for him to defend properly. See? You gotta, it's just, you gotta do the, you gotta let the AI do it, you know? Again, just the AI, right? Should be a clean tackle, but game decided it isn't. Yeah, you guys found a new one. You found a new one. Ah, oh, man. Go, Thomas. Please. Oh. Go. Nice, Munir. Me playing him in the midfield position right now, by the way. Is, oh. Nice, Munir. Second man press there, too. Oh, of course. Look at how many players are back there. I love this meta. A little track back there by Thomas. Block that area there. There we go. I uh, just got to work with the dribbling a little bit there. Hey, Mbappe's Mbappe with those, eh? Munir again on the midfield position. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, that's him in the midfield set up on the attack, but obviously he's going to have a lot of emphasis dribbles. Nice one here. One Oh, just get the like, it's such a it's a great, great play by Munir, but the passing from the headers like so bad in this game. Let's go again. When you get to the AI wise. Half shot. Nice. Thomas Munier, guys, in the midfield setup, like, if you're using this guy as a stay back while attacking player, like, he he plays the role really well. I, there's a lot of potential, especially with the upgrade in the future. Yeah. Was that Thomas? Look at that, eh? Committing on the attack a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, that midfield area is great for him. Nice, Mounier. I think that hit me last. Doesn't matter though, Mounier got it. Oh, nothing. Definitely should have gotten something there. Oh, Mounier gets the ball. But, and you know when you uh, tackle the ball and they clear it out? Here again. 
cut pass by me, but we get the ball back with Guendouzi. The slide challenge actually helped me out there. Nice, Munier. Well done, Munier. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Munier card. Okay, listen to what I'm going to tell you. Okay, listen. Um, if you have Jude Bellingham, you guys, if you guys watched the Jude Bellingham review, I mentioned to you guys that I personally believe that he is a pretty meta card, right? This card is 37.4k. You know, you could also get this bad boy over here. Super, super cheap card, 1,600 coins. Going to be doing his review as well. Uh, you'll be seeing that soon. This card on a shadow chemistry style is a usable card, right? He's got some great meta uh, characteristics at 72k. Bundesliga, Borussia, Dortmund, boom. But then it's that Jude Bellingham link that you also have to take into consideration because this card at 37.5k with the potential upgrade that he can get is incredibly cheap okay incredibly cheap imagine imagine this card over here getting a plus two upgrade and a five star five star capability listen you guys saw how he was playing in the midfield setup this guy you know players when they're tall and they just like have like this interception thing whatever right on a consistent basis ai wise or just him himself and i it, the guy will just snatch the ball in the air. He just snatches it, right? Good tackle animations. Lengthy helps out for that midfield position as well. A plus two for stats being increased in multiple areas of the card. For a card that is 38k, that will get a five-star, five-star, would be absolutely nuts. Because, hey, technically speaking, he can actually play in the right-back position. He plays it well. He does. I like him a lot in the midfield, but he plays the right-back position well. But, but... You have, keep, you have to keep him on stay back while attacking to utilize the physical aspect of the card. Because in certain situations when people activate their little pace monsters and Alawerons and Mbappes, that initial acceleration will let you down sometimes. So if he's well positioned for the most part, he has the right defensive animations for it. So you would be borderline an idiot right, to not do this SBC if you think he's going to get an upgrade because he's 38k. 38k, but he actually performs really well in game. But uh, with the showdown card, it all depends on whether or not they win. If they end up getting the win, hey guys, even a tie. A tie, five star, five star. A tie, okay? So hopefully they win because this card would be really, really saucy to get. Honestly, even if they tie, Rusilon's pretty cool too. Didn't do his review in a bit here too, but wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing either. But yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit tired. It's like 10.30 now. Like I said, I was I had to do reviews for other cards for me to do these reviews, you know? Because that way I can test him out fullback, midfield, all that kind of stuff, right? But yeah, he's worth getting. If you don't get him, uh, you're sus, in my opinion. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.